Yone is one of the flashiest, most intense champions you can play in League of Legends. With a ton of mobility options and crazy damage, almost every single game is montage worthy if you know what you're doing. Sadly, this is what keeps so many players from trying to learn him. So many people think it takes a ton of skill and mechanics to pull off playing Yone. Don't worry, you don't need crazy mechanics to instantly do well in this champion. In this guide, we're going to give you everything you need to know to get started playing Yone immediately. From his playstyle, combos, tips and tricks, laning guidelines, and a build to get you started. And for everything else you need to improve at League of Legends, head on over to skillcap.com. Our service is completely risk-free, as you're kept safe with rank up insurance. If you don't significantly improve while actively using Skillcapped, then you can get your money back, no questions asked. Come check us out with the link in the description below and get the rank you've always wanted. All right, now let's get into today's Yone guide. We're sure most of you coming into this guide already have a general idea of what Yone can do. He's a DPS monster who can dish out a ton of consistent damage. Not even dedicated tanks can stand up to the amount of power Yone has most of the time. On top of that, once he hits his Infinity Edge power spike, he begins to burst harder than even champions like LeBlanc. Not only that, but one of his biggest defining characteristics is that he's able to do that absurd damage all while having a safety net with his E. You can just leave it in a safe area, go in, kill someone, and easily get back out. Honestly, Yone's kit isn't that complex and is fairly easy to pick up. You E, whack some people with autos and Qs, and get out if you need to. The difference between amazing Yone players and new ones is that they know all the tricks to making that way more consistent and reliable. So let's break down some of the ways to make that happen, starting with his combos. Yone has a few important combos you definitely need to know. Let's start with the most basic one, Q Flash. All you're doing is pressing Q before you press your flash. This makes it come out faster than if you had done flash and then Q. You do this anytime you're flashing in to hit someone. It's just faster and smoother than the alternative. There's also W Flash, which is good for similar reasons. Now, let's get into the really important ones. Yone's Q3 has two different flash combo variations you need to know. The first one is similar to the previous combo. You just flash before you press Q3, and it'll make you flash forward and extend the range of your knockup. It's the same concept as what we talked about before. It's faster than if you press flash first, and is likely to catch your opponents off guard. For the second variation, you need to know that when Yone uses Q3, he doesn't just knock up the players in his gust of wind, but also anything around him. So what you can do is flash on top of someone as you use Q3 and it'll knock them up. This is very good to do versus champions you want to give very little time to react to, like Zed for example. If Yone Q3s, it gives Zed time to either W or use his ultimate to dodge it. So Yone commits his Q3 flash, catching Zed off guard for an easy kill. The final combo you need to learn is Q3 into ult. Yone's ultimate is a pretty overpowered ability, but can sometimes be a bit difficult to land on targets who are moving freely. So what you can do is get your Q3 ready. If you land it, it'll guarantee that your ult lands on your target while they're knocked up. Here's a perfect example of it being used properly. Yone wants to kill Lissandra, but her ultimate is a pretty strong defensive ability that counters his engage. So he uses Q3 flash to catch her off guard, and then he uses that to chain CC his ultimate, which allows him to kill her before she ever touched the ground and had a chance to react. One final note about this combo is that it does give your opponent a chance to flash if you do it right on top of them. So if you Q3 while next to them, they'll drop down before your ultimate animation ends, giving them a chance to flash. However, it is a guaranteed combo if you land your Q3 from further away, since they'll still be airborne by the time your ult goes off. Alright, those are the only combos you need to know to start. Now, let's cover all the tips and tricks that will help you find way more success in your games. For starters, the first thing we need to address is the biggest mistake we see from every new Yone player. If you're going for a long all-in, you should almost never start with your E. The problem with it is that you're now on a set timer to get the kill. If you don't get it in those 5 seconds, you're going to snap back and let your target walk away for free. Like here, many Yones would be tempted to immediately E forward, but this Yone knows that the Swain can maybe stall things out for 5 seconds with his ultimate. So instead of using E to engage, Yone goes in with R. This way you still have your E to chase if you need it, but you're not on a strict timer to finish off your opponent. This goes along with an important mindset that your E is not a damage spell. It is a mobility spell first and damage second. If you don't know, Yone's E will deal a percentage of the damage you dealt while it was up. Unfortunately, a lot of players tunnel vision on this extra damage, which causes them to miss a ton of free kills. Just keep this in mind, Yone already does more than enough damage, even without his E. If you don't need it to gap close, then don't immediately press it in every fight. Try to stick on your targets with Q3s and your ultimate. This way, you can save your E until when you actually need it, letting you guarantee way more kills.
Okay, one more handy tip about your E. It is a really overpowered ability versus certain champions because it will remove certain CC effects when you snap back. This is especially important to know versus champions with sleeps like Zoe and Lilia. If they land their sleep on you, press your E and then just snap back to completely cleanse the spell. This is why Yone is such a great counter into Zoe. Alright, let's cover a bunch more tips that will all help bring your Yone up a notch. Remember how we talked about how Yone's Q has a hitbox around him? This is very important to use when running away from enemy champions. If someone is on top of you, you can just dash backwards towards safety while also knocking them up to build even more distance. This comes up a lot, so make sure you utilize it, especially because the hitbox is so absurd. Even if someone is basically behind you, it'll clip them and knock them up. It's also important to keep this in mind as you farm. Niche situations will come up like this one a lot. Right now, Yone wants to farm the Krugs, but to do so, he'd have to Q forward. Instead, he uses the Q's generous hitbox to farm the camp and still move the way he actually wants to go. Speaking of the jungle in your Q3, Yone has a lot of mobility options in the jungle you want to keep in mind. For example, you can hop over walls with your E to build Q3 on a target, then you can actually dash past the wall permanently. Something else super important to keep in mind is that you can build your Q3 with jungle monsters that are out of vision, but that you know are still alive. The angles to hit camps from over a wall are pretty obvious in most cases. The thing that good Yones do though is to track the camp's movement speed towards you and cue where it'll be after it's been aggroed a few seconds. That may take some practice, but it's definitely worth learning. The one camp that isn't obvious how to hit is the Raptors from mid lane. To hit the Raptors from over the wall, stand around here and place your mouse here to cue. This will hit them and get you a stack. Then you can wait for them to loop around to get another cue stack. Obviously, this works on the other side as well. As a mid laner, using raptors to stack your Q comes up constantly, so make sure you learn how to position properly for it and you'll have way more options in how you approach fights. Another important tip for your Q is understanding how the damage actually works. You see, only Yone's initial target hit by his Q counts as an auto attack and triggers on hit effects like lifesteal. This Q right here is a mistake because Yone won't lifesteal off the second minion hit. You see him purposefully begin auto attacking every minion individually to maximize his healing afterwards though. Alright, let's cover some final tips about your ultimate. Keep in mind that your ult drags everyone who is in the hitbox towards the last person to hit, clumping everyone up. An important tip to keep in mind with this is that your W's shield scales based on the amount of enemies hit by it. This means that you almost always want to cast W immediately after landing a multiple man ult, since this will give you a bigger shield and allow you to keep DPSing freely. In regards to another ult trick, something we need to cover is that your E's snapback can technically be delayed by two different ways. The first is something your opponents can do. Even if your E's duration ends, if your opponent has crowd controlled you, you will not snap back until the effect is over. The second way is one that you can do reliably. Your E will not snap back if you're in the middle of an animation. Most Yones will abuse this by using their ultimate at the end of an E combo since it has a super long animation. This is very important when you're trying to min-max damage. Your ultimate has such a long animation that you'll burn through a lot of your E's duration if you cast it as it's ticking down. So if you want to get every ounce of damage possible, you should delay using your ultimate until the last moment right before your E runs out. The damage difference here speaks for itself. Yone players will always do this during kills where every bit of damage matters, so make sure you keep it in mind when you're not sure if you'll have enough damage to finish someone off. With all those tips in mind, let's cover the most important laning concepts that will immediately help you own every game as Yone. The first one is super important in melee matchups. Remember how we talked about how Yone's Q works? Only the first target hit counts as an auto attack. What this means is that in lane, if you Q through a minion, the enemy wave will not target you since you technically hit your opponent with an AoE ability. This is very nice in melee matchups. When you want to pressure your opponent trying to go for last hits, Q them through the wave and take no minion damage in return. Now, in every matchup, Yone almost always wants to be able to go for extended trades. You have a lot of DPS with your Q and lethal tempo, which means that you generally want to keep the wave on your side of the lane. Not only that, but before most trades, you generally want to stack up your Q3 so that you can both extend your engage range while at the same time giving you some CC to begin your trade. These are kind of counterintuitive tips though. If you want to get your Q3 ready, won't you constantly push the wave if you're queuing it to get your stacks ready? There's a very crucial thing you need to do during the lane phase to accomplish both these goals. You want to be very careful and only hit a single minion each time you use your Q. Yes, it's an AoE ability, but you can angle it to where you're only hitting one minion at a time. This is very important to do when you're in a winning position. This keeps the wave from pushing too quickly, while at the same time letting you stack your Q3 as often as possible. Good Yone players do this all the time, so make sure you don't forget when trying to win the lane phase. 
All right, let's wrap things up with a quick build to get you going. What's nice about Yone is that depending on the patch, he can have some very versatile itemization options. Sadly for us, this means that we can't share these because items like Blade of the Ruined King get patched every other week. So by the time you see this, it'll probably already be dated. So we're recommending the most consistent build that will be good no matter what patch you're playing. You rush Berserker Greaves, then go Shield Bow into Infinity Edge. No matter what patch you're playing or what enemy champions you're up against, this core build will almost always be good. Then you round it out with some other bruiser or tank items, depending on what you feel like you'll need in that game. For your runes, you definitely want to run Lethal Tempo, as it synergizes very heavily with Yone's Q. You want Resolve as your secondary runes, and Yone has a lot of versatility in what he can run there. Run what you prefer, or what you think will be best in your matchup every game. Alright, and that's everything you need to know to start dominating with Yone. For everything else, there's SkillCap.com. It's the fastest way to climb and get the rank you've always wanted. We take the highest priority skills you need to learn to climb ranks fast, such as wave control, and then break it down into a step-by-step -step course of bite-sized one to two minute videos that are easy to understand. So while you wait for your next game to start, you can learn freezing, fast pushing, slow pushing, bouncing waves, the list goes on, all in just a few minutes to maximize your improvement rate. These courses have been getting five-star ratings from all of our users, raving at how helpful they are. That's not all though, as every week we release 10 brand new Smurf commentaries where a challenger player teaches you how to climb out of the exact rank you're stuck in. If you're looking for something more personal instead, then we got you covered with one-on-one -on -one coaching from our trained challenger experts. All this seemed too good to be true? Well, don't worry. We're backed by a rank up guarantee. If you don't significantly improve while actively using skill capped, then you get your money back, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and get the rank you've always wanted. All right, that's a wrap on this one, guys. We here at Skillcapped want to thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.